Paulina Cunelas. And I am Hazel Ozom. For today's video, we will be discussing multimedia and ICT in the 21st century. Let me be the first to introduce you the two. Now that technology is everywhere, we're certain that you have at least heard the words multimedia and ICT. But how much do you know about them? Or perhaps, did you know about them? Let us first tackle multimedia. Multimedia is the combination of text, audio, still image, video, animation, or interactive content forms. Common examples of multimedia are computers, smartphones, and televisions. On the other hand, ICD is the Information Communication Technology Acquisition Analysis manipulation, storage, and distribution of information, and the design and provision of equipment and software. Multimedia and ICT may be utilized to make your job more successful in a variety of ways. It breathes new life into your work and allows you to be more creative. It's allows on continues. One thing's for sure, multimedia and ICT were not invented in just a day or two. It took years and years for it to develop into the multimedia and ICT we have today. Let us look at their history, shall we? Perhaps newspapers are the first medium that employs the art of multimedia and combines text and images in a paper. Then the year 1980 to 1987 came when computer developers began to search for ways to develop computers that were only used to compute large databases. In those years, developers saw multimedia as a way to improve. Personal computers now have features of word processing, spreadsheets, and basic interactivity. And up until now, multimedia is a great help for every individual as it lets them access information, let them learn, and get entertained. Now, let us move to the history of ICT. Froyland Ponelas In 1951, Univac 1 was developed and became the first commercial computer. Then years passed, mainframe computers, supercomputers, and mini computers were created. They were used to manipulate large amounts of databases, designing aircrafts, nuclear reactors, manufacturing plants, and factories. In short, they opened the way for industries, agriculture, and businesses to develop, although they were complex programming. Then the fall of 1981 came. Personal computers were created by IBM. It is more advanced and uses more simple programming than the first computers. It is better known as pieces. This computer paved the way for better communication and gathering of information in the present. As per the use of multimedia, there are a lot of things you can do using it. You can use it for entertainment and communication, while you can also use it in doing research and door knocks. Multimedia can be a great help for students and professionals. While the ICT, or Information and Communications Technology, obviously, by its name already, you can use it for communication, like emails and messages. Plus, you can also use it in a form of ebooks or electronic books, learning programs like seminars and more. We hope that you've gained something today. That will be all for today. Thank you for watching.